last time on Cyberpunk Bartender Action Valhalla. As I was saying, uh, dicks and and butts and stuff. Oh God, Sai. Say. So fun. <laughs> God, I'm terrible. At this don't make me a newscaster. That's not even a newscaster thing. That's an, oh whatever. Hey everybody. Uh, <laughs> It's, go, it's so good to see you here. I wonder if she'll be all right. Ah, hello, Jamie. Good evening, Jill. Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? The news flash just ended. Sounds like things got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Gil stormed off just a minute ago, though. I see. I guess the bunny was late. <laughs> he definitely knows what's going on. <laughs> Let's get him drunk. What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Extra strong. Coming right up. Oh my god. Yeah! Abusive power! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. God, oh. you guys. Look at her. Something, but something. Something's oh going my. to. You oh. need to add one more Carmotrine. Wait, really? Oh, I just missed it. I think that's it, right? Yes. I oh. wonder if we can add more Carmotrine. Yeah, probably. Hold on. Let's let's let's, mix let's it. see. Let's see. Uh, what? All blended. All blended. So let's go for a hot minute. Oh my God! Look at her butt. Oh my God! Look at her butt. Yeah. Yeah, we can do it. Okay. That's so it's okay. only with optional Carmotrine that we can kind of spice it up. Yeah, I see. I'm going to look at her. But, but oh no, we but, can't. We can't. No, we can't do this, Mel. We but, can't just look at her butt endlessly. But did I fuck up? No, I don't think I fucked up. Good. Bam, 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 bam. All right, I feel it in me. I feel this. I feel this interaction coming along. The let's play energy. The energy. <laughs> God, one Mars blast. Yeah, this is the one. Mars blasts have always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? Then again, the whole red planet thing is still its nickname. VR, can't believe I'm m myself. Uh, hey, who's, who's that girl? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24 seven. I'm guessing her equipment's still running, so you might want to watch what you say. Well, thanks for the advice. Changing the subject a bit. Have you been hearing explosions or something throughout the day? I heard that a supersonic drone was undergoing tests and lost its course. That might be it. Ah. Uh, hey boss, the explosions were caused by supersonic drones. That sounds better than firecrackers. We've been trying to figure out what they were all day. Ah, I see. Sonic booms are... <laughs> sonic booms are not... <laughs> sorry. Are not sounds people can normally what? identify. What are you so amused by? It's just this game. And this one drone made a lot of noise when breaking the sound barrier. Is this an area to test that kind of stuff? It's not, which makes the whole thing quite suspicious. Huh. Man, if only Gil was here to hear that info. He thought they were gunshots. Idiot. Are you worried about him? Sort of. He always leaves without notice for days, but he always comes back unscathed. I'd be lying if I said I'm not worried, but at the same time, I've just kind of become used to it. He can be a troublesome man, huh? Sometimes. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be all right? This isn't the first time a bank's closed like that, but something is off about this. Off? How? I don't know. Maybe it's the hour. Maybe it's the fact that the news is making an unusually big stink out of it. Let's hope I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? A girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to that bank. It's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but... It happens, still. <sighs> Never mind. Do you want something else? Yeah, I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. I feel like... A big ol' beer! How close do you imagine a beer is when it's made out of Edelheid, Bronson Extract, Powder Delta, Flannergeed, or Flannergeed, Flannergeed, Flannergeed? That's a, that's a good one. Wait, how do you how do you, Mal? How do you pronounce uh, G I F? Gif. <gasps> really? 
it stands for graphical, not graphical. <laughs> Tony. I thought it, it would be like calling a GUI a Jewy. <laughs> it's a graphical user interface, you ass fucks. I, I always thought it pronounced it, uh, it stood for uh, dryfical. <laughs> that's why it's that's why it's jife. <sighs> God. I just fucked you that up. Super fucked it up. You weren't even paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. The let's play curse. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, uh, perfect. The lurse. Perfect. perfect. Wait, I can make it a big beer. No, I? no, no. Make it regular. He didn't ask for a big one. Well, I, I mean, I think you can do whatever you want. No. Well. What if he says this is too big? This, this, this is bigger this than beer. the armadillo rolled over by a varmint hitting the tum drums. <laughs> this beer is bigger than a uh, pussy willow rolled all up in, uh, fuck, what are they called? The things that roll. Tumbleweed? A tumbleweed! This, this... <laughs> wow, didn't you live in Texas? Yes! I was a amazed that I forgot what the word for tumbleweed was. Ostensibly lived in Texas. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I once read that beer played an important part in humanity's history. Yeah, I'm familiar with the theory. It's an interesting one. The gist of it is that brewing was an important part of society during its development. Drinks were ubiquitous while feasting. They helped to foster bonds and build faction alliances. Given enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. You seem to know a lot about this. Nah, just enough. Jill, have you ever thought about brain uploading? Brain uploading? I was thinking, what's the point of uploading yourself if you're still here? Let's say you upload yourself and, effectively, that new someone's in cyberspace. You'll still be here. Wouldn't it be weird to know that there's a you that's not you somewhere? That's an interesting point. I guess it'd be the same as cloning, huh? Imagine if your cyberspace self found out about the real you somehow. Hell, imagine talking to your other self. There's more. Imagine placing multiple copies of you in different situations. Exposing each one to different scenarios to see how they develop. I guess it is kind of heartbreaking in a way. Imagine someone with some illness uploading their brain into the ether. Only to find out their physical bodies are still alive and here instead of living in a place where there is no disease. I remember an article from a while back from the earliest forms of brain uploading. It would scan the brain in such a thorough and intense manner that it would effectively kill the person. It used the words, burn the brain. Ouch. All for nothing because the data would be corrupted or broken. They halted all brain uploading research after that. I think they started another project about living brains in jars or something after that. That subject interests you, huh? It makes for a nice time sink when I'm doing nothing. Well then, nice talking to you, Jill. Same here. Always a pleasure. Say hello to Gillian for me when he comes back. Please come again. Whew. All done. You want to stay here? Seems the street's quite restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple of matters to attend to at home. You do? Yeah, I ordered a nano camo module for my apartment. It should be installed by now. Nano camo? Isn't that a tad expensive? Yup. To be honest, I asked my mom for it. She had been pestering me about what gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while. Oh, I can't believe it's called Mega Christmas. She's been asking that for four years now, and I've always said I was fine. So I took the chance and asked her for it. Used up all the past gifts. Oh. Feels a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So what will the Nano Camel module change from your apartment? I got the basic plan. Walls and one piece of cloth. So I picked my ko my kotatsu too. You have a kotatsu? You know what a ko you know what a kotatsu is, boss? I'm more impressed. You know what it is. I mean, futons are common knowledge, but a kotatsu, not so much. Yeah, well, days get cold and the heater might not be enough. And the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced spaces. You should invite me sometime. I want to see how you decorate the place with that. Let's plan a day to grab a beer, yeah. No, more dancing. I'm tired. Oh. What do we do with her? I'll take care of everything. Don't worry. All right. Sorry for leaving her like this. No problem. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. Huh. I bet 
Jill's super excited that her boss wants to come over to her house. She's going to have to take down the poster of her boss. <laughs> she is going to have to take down the poster. God. All right, let's see here. No mistakes. Uh, get a nice wall pattern or something. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, all right, all right. We got a bunch of bullshit. That'll be good. Uh, you have no <laughs> notifications or whatevers. All right, Jill wants to buy a fan even though it's winter. Buying one will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now use a nano camo to customize your room. Nice. Is that what that other app is? Maybe. But that is. Yeah, nano camo. <clears throat> uh, okay. All right, let's try it. What a weird fucking figure. Customize. Wait. Wait, wait, where, where's the customize? The big button at the top. Okay, but yes, now I want to know about this mascot. <laughs> Camo Tan is our mascot. She's designed by a veteran character designer from uh, Sukuban Games. Ha. Oh, uh, Kiri Kirin. Wait. Kiririn. Kiririn 51. Uh, huh. Interesting. All right. Just <laughs> likes just stuff, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, whatever. Um, oh. Oh! Hell. Okay, I like the one, two from the bottom. Also, the one that just says Brad. I see you. Oh my god. They hit the nose on the nose with the hammer. What? Because th that's the best one. That's the best wallpaper. Just because it says Brad with a question mark. We have to pay for this, even though we already paid for the thing? It's the basic plan, Mal. Oh my uh... god. I can't believe they so accurately deduced that they had to make the word Brad. <laughs> the most expensive wallpaper. That's oh, fucking incredible. Rice. I actually really like this color cyan. Yeah, same. So I. Ooh, Whoa! It's lovely. All right, what do we want to do with our table? Table. Because we can do something. I like the little missiles. A little missiles. But Is it that might too much not. Blue? Yeah, I think the pink stripe or the yellow. Then let's do the pink stripe. Okay. Uh, click to confirm. Ooh! <laughs> God, are you okay? Yeah, my voice is just all fucky. Uh, <laughs> did you say all fucky? Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. She wants a fan. Uh, yeah, let's get her a fan. Um, Joker Cyclone. Is that what it was? Yeah, it's a fan. 800 bucks. Let's get, fuck it, let's get another thing. Uh, was that yours or mine? Yeah, purchase? I want to get a Maneki Neko. Okay. Uh, Wait, it don't, oh, okay. Never mind. Well, I mean, this is the life we live now. Yeah. I want to see where it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. Wait, what was the other thing? The fan? Our schleff, yeah. Uh, four says, what's a nano camo? Something to liven up things in this room. So, do you think it just... How? How? Does it... Well, oh, whatever. Okay. Okay. All right. Future so, bullshit. Let's, let's do a bit of light reading before we get done with this episode. Okay. Uh, a white oh, night just beat me up. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm holding it out if you want it, Mal. <laughs> Thanks, Sonny. I'm holding it out. I'm fucking crying right now. Let me tell you the story. Okay. Waiting for OP to deliver. I'm here. Anyway, here it goes. I was going home after buying groceries at the store. I was very tired because I had to line up for hours just to buy milk. When I'm finally out of there, a group of three white knights stopped me and started asking for my ID. And also wanted to see my bag to check if I wasn't a scalper. Once they saw everything was in order, they asked me for a military service ID and just... What the fuck? Why would I have that on me? And there's no enforced conscription anymore. It doesn't make sense. And because I didn't have it on me, they asked for money or else they'd plant drugs on me. I of course refused, but they'd lose their patience. One of them hit me right in the temple with a gun. I was bleeding like crazy on the floor, so they just took my groceries and left. Holy shit, man. I fucking hate this place. I hate it so much. I want to leave this fucking hellhole. I'm so tired of this shit every fucking day. That's horrifying. And streaming Chan. Kind of kind of real. Uh, did anyone else see last night's escapade? She was at the Valhalla bar. It was all right. Bartender was a cutie, but man, is she full of herself. Don't care. I'm going next week and ask her for a date. We all know you won't. Pretty sure nobody here has the guts to ask someone out. Is she still sleeping? Yeah, the bartender has been telling everyone they need to be careful with their words. Lol. I wonder if there's a legal activity going on there. Like, why would you need to be careful with what you say? Maybe they're avoiding casual racism. True. Still, it wouldn't be rare for them to do shady stuff. This is fucking city, haha. At least she's sleeping now. Last time I saw her taking some rest was about a week ago. Crash is one hell of a drug. God. Oh, God. 
Uh, Paula Banks is getting attacked and those reporting. Uh, there's a bunch of bullshit. It sucks. Okay. Wait, um, can we actually read? I feel like this is important to the okay, plot, right, more right, so than the bullshit right, that we yeah, just all right, read. All right. Uh, are you actually surprised it was attacked? Considering the nature of their threats, it's clear that Quincy doesn't want to take the blame. Uh, what a fucking coward. Do we have any sources there? I'm posting from the site. It looks like someone's inside the bank with a huge bomb threatening to blow up the building. Any demands? They want Quincy to quit and the White Knights disbanded. Wow. So they're actually helping the protesters? Um, that's not the way to help people. Haha, <laughs> it is though. What if this is just a huge false flag to blame the opposition? I wouldn't be surprised. This fucking place, lol. Let's wait for more info. God, and Jill's like, may the gods guide say to safety. Jesus. Ugh. <sighs> Wow, shit is going down in this, yeah. this dystopian mega future. Uh huh. All right. Alarms rise as the Apollo Trust uh, suffers bank suffers terrorist, terrorist attack. attack. Damn. Hijacked screens at downtown Casanova announced what seems to be a terrorist threat aimed at the Apollo Trust Bank. The information suggests that currently at unidentified bombers already inside the building. The White Knights counterterrorism unit responded to the threat immediately. However, the bank was then locked down by an external network attack. We might be dealing with a dual threat here, CTUE's Chloe Bauer told uh, AE. The bank has been sealed shut using its own disaster prevention system. However, none of the terminals at the bank were working at the time. The building is basically sealed at this point. The hostages are trapped. Fuck. Yep. Uh, Hogmanton Eye is being attacked. Uh, it's it's just, you know, the Alice Rabbit. Yeah. They were, but they're just kind of pissy about it. Uh... There, yeah, pollution. Yeah. God. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Like, like not read a bullshit. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't care about reading this. <laughs> Were you waiting for me to read? I was, but that's fine. No. Oh, okay. It's, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Let's see if uh, Kira Miki is. Uh, no. Oh, oh man. What's up? Put the lack of blog posts. All right. I'm, She's busy. I'm gonna buy another thing. Tony! Just bought a cutesy game poster! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if you want to listen to more cutesy Let's Players, uh, actually. Cutesy, cutesy video game. God, I don't want videos. to describe us as cutesy. Oh. I, I mean, we are cute, but cutesy? Ugh, nasty. Yeah. It's like kitschy. Kitschy? Yeah. What What the hell? How the hell do we use that in a sentence? Like, like a. Like furniture? Yeah, like this room looks real kitschy. Wow, that was a good self. That was a good demonstrating sentence. I understand that word now. Uh, if you enjoyed That's the video, sarcasm. uh kind of hit the subscribe button. And uh, we also have a Patreon, so you can go there and check out things like our Discord. We have a bunch of other bullshit. It's in the end card and in the video description. You should describe your services as bullshit. That way, people <laughs> will love them and you. <laughs> yep. All right, bye everybody. Bye. We'll see you later.